relatively warm day out here at the pond. Uh, I can see all my fish right now. If you look closely, it's kind of a glare from the from the sun. If you look closely, you can see uh, my blue koi right there. He's the only one that you can't really see, which is a bad description. But if you look in the middle of the fish, you'll see one moving that doesn't have too much color. It's kind of lighter. That's my shisui. Don't ask what quality he is because I got him from a garden store, but that is my favorite fish. Every time I see him, I'm happy because I know everything's cool. Um, it's about 60 degrees out here. It feels great. Uh, you know, still got this going a little bit. Still have that there. Um, all the ice is melted. Now look, it's the beginning of January. So, you know, it's not time to start feeding or anything. It is a little warm, but at the same time, it is a good day to just come out and enjoy the pond. Still not a good time to feed, of course, because if they eat now, their metabolism's slow, not going to break it down. The food's going to rot in their bellies, and they're going to die. And they probably just won't eat anyway. It'll probably just sink to the bottom and just mess up the water. But this is a good day to be out here. All, all of my fish are surviving. All my goldfish, they all look healthy. Um, all, th all three of my koi, my yellow one black and orange one and my shisui they're all doing fine oh man it just looks nice out here today don't know why maybe because we haven't been getting much rain but um uh, the water level in the pond dropped a little bit, so I'm going to add some. Got the hose right there. And I'm just going to top this pond off, so... That way, when I leave for school in another week, week or so, um, I can just not worry about the water getting too low or anything like that. You know, my parents want to do anything, I just do it myself. But, so far, so good. The fish are doing well. Um, no health, no sign of health problems or none of that junk. So, yeah. All is well over here in, in the pond. Um, if anybody has any tips about winterizing koi and stuff like that, because, I mean, this is the first time I've ever had most of my fish survive this long without losing any. I mean, I had that before, but... I never really made it to the point where the water starts heating up because it's a spring and all the fish surviving because by then my fancy goldfish had died too. So if anybody has any tips on uh, how to get the pond started and stuff like that, you know, if you're a pond owner or if you, or if you just know a website, even if you're not like a big pond guy, if you just know an aquatics website or something that... Uh, that can give me good information on that, you know, just send me a link or whatever. I'm still looking now, and um, that'll help tremendously. All right, later.